Hello everybody, my name is Richard Vigorelli and I'm your guide for everything Chinese medicine and I set it all up so us Westerners can figure it out. Now today we are continuing on uh, with some of those uh, lanterns that I did before. I've done the green, the yellow, and the blue, and now we're doing red. So, the red lanterns. Uh, now, if you are familiar with uh, the lore of DC Comics and also the Lantern Corps, you know that the red guys are really, really angry all the time. They're big on vengeance. They are big on hate and other such negative things. Okay? So, uh, in Western culture, being red makes sense. Red is a highly aggressive color. Uh, especially that bright um, and or dark crimson red uh, that exemplifies their motif, okay? Also, you know, the guy that leads the group is named Atrocitus, which is taken from Atrocity, which is a really, really bad thing that someone has done. These are not nice people. Okay. So, uh, also, do you like the shirt? It says, pain is nothing on the back. It says, I use acupuncture. I'm thinking of marketing this. This is a one-of-a-kind thing, but I'm thinking of doing a version for everybody else. So, let me know in the comments if you think that one's a good idea. Back to the subject. Okay. Uh, so, anger is a basic emotion. Pretty much all animals can have it. Okay. It is uh, exemplified in Chinese medicine in the liver, which is green and made of wood. So what's with the red? Well, red is the color of fire in Chinese medicine, and it is also the color of joy. Weird. Hang on. Why are angry guys showing the color of joy? We'll get there. So, because anger is associated with wood, and joy is associated with fire, what do you burn to make fire? You burn wood. Okay, so wood gets added to fire, makes fire bigger, right? Okay, so green turns into red. So this is the exact same phenomenon that we're seeing with the green lanterns using willpower. Okay, the green lanterns are pulling from the kidney, the red lanterns are pulling from the liver. Okay? So, all of that liver energy comes out, manifests as fire, and they spread out. Okay? These are actually a very, very fire-centered uh, group. Now, there's also something very interesting here. And if you want, you can look back on one of my earlier videos. Um, the one for joy, the one for anger and rage, and the other one for anger and rage. Okay? Um, the red lanterns spread out just like a flame, okay? So they are showing that part of red. The hatred and vengeance that they have is the absence of joy, okay? So I don't have their uh, oath uh, memorized. I tried to do it. I've had a lot on my plate lately. And if you can hear it in my voice, that's one of the things. I've got a little bit of a uh, allergy thing going on. The air here is terrible in Salt Lake. It's driving me crazy. It's really messing up my breathing. Anyhow, not important. Uh, if we were to tweak that, like they did in the most recent uh, kind of computer animated one where Hal Jordan's running around and he's friends with Kilowog and he gets a Red Lantern on his team and they've got the sentient ship and all of that. Yeah. That one, the ship tweaked the Red Lantern's oath in order to help calm him down, and he flat out refused to do it. And then the series cut, whatever. Okay, if we were to tweak that, and instead of spewing anger everywhere, the anger gets transmuted into peace, then. Yes, they are still the Red Lantern core, but instead of being an instrument of evil, they become an instrument of good. Okay? So, 
like using fear the same way, what they would do is they would come into an area where everybody's, you know, up in arms and upset and all of this and beating each other up and all of that. They just take that anger, twist it, defend or assist, everything's better. Okay? There's less destruction, there's less trouble, and things are easy. This then moves into uh, the transmutation of emotions. I did a video on that a while back. Um, those of you who have negative emotions that you are victims of, I highly recommend you watch that one. It's called How to Transmute Emotions. Okay? Uh, it'll really help you out. Okay, so uh, that's about all I've got for you today. Uh, if you're new to the channel, hit that big red subscribe button down below. Don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment, and uh, if you want to get in touch with me directly, feel free to visit my website at vigintmed.com. That stands for Vigorelli Integrated Medicine. Dot com. Uh, you can go ahead and shoot me a message there. I'll be sure to get back to you. Uh, please do keep it respectful. Okay? So, I'll be back later with something else, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.